Let's stretch today. This is going to be under 10 minutes, but it's something you can do any day when you're stressed, when your body is aching, when you just need time to relax. We're going to start with you giving yourself a great big hug. And I want you just to gently roll side to side and low back. I have been in yoga classes where the teacher says, it's like giving a massage. It's not like giving a massage, but it does feel really, really good. Now on your next roll over, I want you to drop those knees one way, extend those arms, and that is a beautiful spinal twist. Try to keep those shoulders down on the ground, and your head is actually looking the opposite way from your knees. And breathe. All times people <sighs> relax into the stretch. This time is time just for you. We are all so busy in our everyday lives, I know it's hard to stop. This is amazing for your body and it wants to do it hopefully once a day, at least once every other day. Let's bring those knees up and over to the other side. And ideally, you're looking the other way, but I don't want to be rude and not talk to you, so I'm going to stay like this. It's okay if your knees don't come all the way down. It's okay if your shoulder is not all the way on the ground. That just comes with flexibility. The more you do it, the more flexible you get. And I can't tell you how many people tell me, Pam, I'm not flexible. And I ask them, do you work on it? And they say no. Flexibility is like anything else. It's like strength training. It's like running. It's like any other activity. The more you do it, the more flexible you get. Now, this is not glamorous or exciting, but it feels amazing. So I would definitely say it's worth your time to invest in stretching every day. Let's come back on your backs right now. One leg up. If you are super inflexible, you might want to get a towel and even a dish towel is fine. Like wrap it around your calf. If not, bring that calf back in your hand and just gently bring that leg back toward your body. Now this is going to be all the way down your hamstring, which our hamstrings, all of us have tight hamstrings. The more love we can give to our hamstrings, the better. It might be yelling at you now, and that's okay. The more you stretch, I would say the less it's going to yell at you. Also, if you have any kind of low back pain, I would highly recommend stretching your hamstrings every day as that can alleviate the pain in your low back. And let's switch sides right here. Just like anything else, one side is going to be a little bit more flexible than the next. Um, you'll notice what side is stronger, what side has better balance, what side has more flexibility. We are not a balanced uh, being. We are, we are imbalanced. Take a great big deep breath and just gently bring that back just a little bit lower towards your body. If you can't, if you can't, that is totally okay. Now I want you to slowly release that. And we are going to hold up. Body's in a nice straight line as opposed to hunch shoulders. Roll those shoulders back and away. You might need a dish towel again. If you do, you can put it around those feet. If not, I just want you to keep a straight back and touch your feet. Again, more hamstring. Why so much hamstring? Because we are tight. And because we spend a lot of the day hunched over, which is not amazing for our low back. So I'm going to protect our low back. Take a great big deep breath in. And as you exhale, try to get a little bit deeper into the stretch, keeping that back still nice and straight. And let's come off that. I'm just going to have you spread those legs just a little bit, however far is comfortable for you. Hands are going to be in the middle. And I want you to walk out until your body says, I'm good there. This is not a time to strain your body. It's just where you feel that stretch. Uh, Inner thigh, but also we're all about the hamstring right now. Keep that back nice and straight. If you have a family member close by, they might want to gently press on your back. It's up to you whether you let them do that or not. But do keep that dish towel close by because we're going to walk over to one side. Now, I want your body in the same line as your leg. What do I mean? I don't want your body over here or face this way in a nice straight line with that leg. Grab onto that shoe, use the towel if you need to, and breathe into this. 
you feel a little bit in your oblique too because your, your outer oblique is reaching around as you try to stretch. And hopefully you're breathing and thinking, this feels amazing, I'm gonna do it again. Hopefully, soon. Come back to the center. And now I want you to walk your hands out again one more time. You might be able to get a little bit lower as your muscles warm up, you get to get a little bit deeper into that stretch. And now let's go to the other side. Again, you're lining up with that leg, coming in, keeping that back straight, and breathing. No holding your breath while we're stretching. Your muscles need that oxygen. And if the song Hurts So Good comes into your head, I totally get that because it comes in all the time when I stretch. Some stretches are um, more painful. That just means we should be working on that a little bit more. All right, let's come back up, bring those legs to the center, shake them out a little bit. Last one right here. Walk your hands here. Maybe that's as much as you can go. Totally fine. Here, here. You can totally round your back here. You don't have to keep it straight. I want you to, I'll show you, and then I'll come up. Drop that head. I want the top of the head to face your feet, please. This is not actually a great position for your neck, so if you're looking at me, please drop your head and face your feet, because I want it to be an amazing last stretch. Well, you know, actually I'll finish with one. I'm a little bit of a liar, but in a good way, I promise. Okay, let's come on up. Last one, because it feels so great for our necks. Right hands on the ground, tilt your head to the left. Oh my gosh, just breathe into that. Because we are a society where we look at our phones, look at our computers, drive, when you're looking down a lot, but I mean, we're driving like this. Our neck and shoulders get very tight. This is just a nice neck opener. And bring it down to the center. Let's switch sides. Left hand down, tilt that neck head to the right. And breathe, 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 breathe into it. You don't ever want to bring your head back your chin, your chest is fine, but never back. That puts your neck at a really, um, not a great angle. That's all I can say. We are gonna put your chin down. And I want you to put your hands behind you, press those shoulders down and away. And now bring those arms up. Now let's bring those arms out to the front. Bring around your shoulders and your back. Keep that chin down and bring that up. And bring it out. Thank you so much for stretching with me today. I hope you do this one again most days of the week.